Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Square root of x minus 1 plus cube root of 2 minus x is equal to 1. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. For real solutions, this x minus 1, x minus 1 must be greater than or equal to 0. It means that x must be greater than or equal to 1. Now we suppose that this expression root x minus 1 is equal to y. Let square root of x minus 1 is equal to y. If we take a square of both sides, this implies that x minus 1 is equal to y squared. Move this negative 1 to the right hand side, this will become x is equal to 1 plus y squared. Now, in this uh, original equation, we replace this expression root x minus 1 with this value y. So, this will become y plus uh, cube root of 2 minus x is equal to 1. And move this y to the right hand side, this will become cube root of 2 minus x is equal to 1 minus y. Now, we take a cube of both sides of this equation. So, this cube will be considered with this cube root and at left hand side we are left with the 2 minus x is equal to 1 minus y whole cubed. Now, in this equation we replace this x with this value of x 1 plus y squared so, this uh, equation will become 2 minus value of x is uh, 1 plus uh, y squared is equal to 1 minus y whole cube. Next, 2 negative times 1 will become negative 1 and negative times y squared will become negative y squared is equal to 1 minus y whole cubed. Now, this is 2 minus 1 will become 1 minus y squared is equal to 1 minus y whole cubed. Now, this one is same as 1 squared. So, by using this uh, algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus uh, b times a minus b. This 1 squared minus y squared will become 1 plus y times 1 minus y is equal to this 1 minus y whole cubed can be written as 1 minus y times 1 minus y whole squared. Move this expression 1 plus y times 1 minus y to the right hand side, then this will become 1 minus y times 1 minus y whole squared minus 1 plus y times 1 minus y is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression 1 minus y is a common factor. So, we factor out this 1 minus y and in bracket left, in bracket left this 1 minus y whole squared minus 1 plus y. In bracket left 1 minus y whole squared minus 1 plus y is equal to 0. Next, 1 minus y times we expand this 1 minus y whole squared, this will become 1 minus 2 times y plus y squared. Negative times 1 will become negative 1, negative times y will become negative y is equal to 0. Next, 1 minus y 
times we write this y squared first y squared this uh, positive 1 will be considered with this negative 1 and the negative 2y minus y will become negative 3 times y is equal to 0 next 1 minus y from these two terms uh, we can factor out y in bracket left uh, y minus 3 is equal to 0 now from here either y is equal to 0 or 1 minus y is equal to 0 or y minus 3 is equal to 0 from this equation if we move this negative y to the right hand side this implies that y is equal to 1 and from this equation if we move this negative 3 to the right hand side then this implies that y is equal to 3 and from this equation we get the value of y is equal to 0 so we have uh, three values of y now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, x is equal to 1 plus y squared we have supposed that uh, x is equal to 1 plus uh, y squared so when y is equal to 0 then this will become x is equal to 1 plus 0 squared and from here we get the value of x 1 and when y is equal to 1 then this will become x is equal to 1 plus 1 squared and from here we get the value of x 1 plus 1 2 and when y is equal to 3 then this will become x is equal to 1 plus 3 squared and from here we get the value of x 10 so we get 3 values of x 1 2 and 10 now we verify these values of x and see that whether their solutions are not the original equation is uh, square root of x minus 1 plus uh, cube root of 2 minus x is equal to 1 when x is equal to 1 then this will become square root of 1 minus 1 plus uh, cube root of 2 minus 1 is this equal to 1 and this will become square root of 0 plus uh, cube root of uh, 2 minus 1 is 1 is this equal to 1 and square root of 0 is uh, 0 plus uh, cube root of 1 is 1 is this equal to 1 and 0 plus 1 is 1 is equal to 1 you can see that uh, left hand side is equal to the right hand side it means that uh, this value of x1 is a valid solution now when x is equal to 2 then this will become square root of 2 minus 1 plus uh, cube root of 2 minus 2 is this equal to 1 and this will become square root of 1 plus uh, this will become cube root of uh, 0 is this equal to 1 square root of 1 is 1 plus uh, cube root of 0 is 0 is this equal to 1 1 plus 0 is 1 is equal to 1 you can see that uh, left hand side is equal to the right hand side it means uh, this value of x2 is also a valid solution now, when x is equal to 10 then this equation will become square root of 10 minus 1 plus cube root of 2 minus 10 is this equal to 1 
Uh, this uh, square root of 10 minus 1 will become square root of 9 plus uh, this will become cube root of uh, 2 minus 10 is negative 8 is this equal to 1 square root of 9 is a 3 plus uh, cube root of negative 8 is uh, negative 2 is this equal to 1 and 3 minus 2 is uh, 1 is equal to 1 you can see that uh, left hand side is equal to the right hand side it means uh, this uh, third value of x 10 is also a valid solution